all of this stuff, all the stuff we've talked about from Hacker News and Quora and SlideShare and email and Facebook and Twitter and search and every one of these things follows the same process. And that process really can be distilled into four simple steps. I find something new that I think is interesting, right? Some new place where I think there's going to be value in participating or contributing. I test it out. You know, I go answer some questions on Quora. I measure it through my analytics, right, or through our conversion data. And then I repeat the high ROI ones and throw out the low ones. And th this can be, the same process is, is simple to apply to anywhere that you go and participate on the web or any channel that you want to try, any content that you want to try. Uh, and it's why I'm such a huge believer in inbound marketing because startups can spend tons of money on customer acquisition, on awareness, on brand building, uh, through advertising, through paid search, through uh, you know uh, brand advertising, back in the 90s through television ads, Super Bowl ads, a and yet if you're willing to put in the work, right, like get down on your hands and knees and and, and scrape for this traffic, you can get a lot more of it for free. I mean, it, it takes your time, it takes your energy, but it doesn't cost you money. So. Uh, the last thing I'm going to do before I we go to Q&A is, is talk some traffic and financial data. Um, this is our traffic from, <laughs> this is only from 2011, I don't know why it says 2007. Uh, so for the last year, and you can see it's a little up to the right, but actually most of what we've been doing is refining uh, our on-site marketing process. And so our traffic hasn't been going dramatically up, but there you can see the distribution Right? Search sending about 35% or so, direct sending a ton, uh, our feed through our blog, those 80,000 subscribers clicking on links, that's been big for us. Social, been a big and growing chunk. Uh, and then there's all this kind of unmeasured stuff, but the one I want to point out is, you see paid? Look at our paid traffic. It's pathetic. It's tiny. You know what the great part about that is? It doesn't cost very much money to get Right, the million visits that we got in February, or the you know hopefully 1.1 million that we'll get in January. So that's that's kind of what I, I wanted to share. And here you can see uh, our revenue over the past uh, four years and an estimate of this year's revenue. The, the same revenue estimate that we presented to our board of directors. So essentially, you know, uh, I believe 600,000, um, 1.2 million. 3.2 in 2009, 5.7 last year, and this year should be a little bit over 11. Um, although it's, it's possible that we may beat that. So, we, you know, we, we didn't start strong. <laughs> we definitely didn't start strong. But we've come to kind of an exciting place. And the reason I love sharing this story is because I, I wish so much that I had been able to do this, that I'd been able to, to learn and, and talk to somebody who'd been through this before when I was starting out. Uh, it's, it's a painful process. You, you feel lonely and alone. You know, even if there's people around you, as an entrepreneur, particularly as, as the CEO or the person who's responsible, uh, you feel alone in this process. And, and yet you're not. Right? There are hundreds of us, thousands of us, um, doing this all over the world. I mean, I know, you know, CEOs and entrepreneurs in, in uh, northeast Canada, you know, north of Quebec. I know entrepreneurs in, in London, in uh, parts of China, um, in Australia. There's a, a huge startup scene that's booming in Sao Paulo, in Buenos Aires, here in Rome. So th there are people, and, and they'd love to help you. And, and if you have questions, I would certainly love to, to help answer them around any topic, around SEO, marketing stuff, entrepreneurship stuff, VC kinds of things. Uh, happy to happy to help out. Thank you. Thank you.